We're back here at IESF, the sixth one at that, here in Azerbaijan in um, Baku. Yep. It has been a fantastic event so far. We're here in the finals now for the StarCraft II um, women's tournament. That's right. Going to be a lot of fun. By the way, guys, just to let you know, uh, there will be one more bus back to the hotel yeah. after this match, after the entire match is done. So don't worry. You don't have to walk up that steep, steep You guys steep are hill. getting home okay. <laughs> They're so taking care of you. Sit tight and enjoy these games. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a match with China versus Finland to decide uh, which country has the best female StarCraft II player in the world. That's right. Uh, and, of course, it is Mayuki going up against Soihi. Soihi being the Finnish player and Mayuki being the Chinese player. A lot of the yeah. – seems like the entire Finnish team is here, actually, yep. to root Down here to uh, show their support. And uh, we already saw a fantastic series there. Uh, for the third and fourth place match, it was um, won by Queenie. Yep. A very convincing PvP. That's right. Uh, now, will this match be as convincing? It is a ZVZ. Can be a little bit volatile. But these two already played in the group stage, actually, where so he did fall 0-2. to two. So Mayuki, so far in this tournament, has just been dominating. Yeah. Uh, tell your friends to tune in. This is uh, on Twitch, so we have probably have a lot of new viewers uh, come in here right now, and I'm sorry, I think we're getting some feedback in our headsets, so we might need to get that fixed, just so I, um, I'm able to hear what our toes are saying. And we got it fixed. Okay, great. So, uh, introducing our players over here in the upper right, in the green, from China, it is Mayuki. And in the bottom left, from Finland, it is none other than Soihi. Finnish team very excited about this match. It is on overgrowth, a one on one map. Uh, we've seen a lot of ZVZs at this tournament so far, a lot of all ins. Uh, actually, when you were doing some of the Hearthstone that I wasn't casting our toast, oh, I was yeah. watching a lot of this. So um, there's a possibility, you know, just like in any ZVZ, we mm -hmm. see, a, you know, a, an abrupt a burst of Lings coming out, uh, yeah. Banelings as well, charging forward and just trying to overwhelm the other player. Sure. Uh, definitely could be the case. You know, if you're good at micro, you can definitely go ahead and rush quite quickly and try to kill your opponent before they can really get any defenses up. And we have a drone scout here from Mayuki. Oh, by the way, it is a best of five uh, for those of you at home. So yeah. uh, the loser will be picking the following map. Deadwing and Nimbus were uh, vetoed here. <laughs> so our remaining three maps after this are Catalina Foxtrot Labs or Merry-Go-Round. Yeah, and uh, King Sejong Station. And King Sejong Station, excuse me. So uh, those will be the maps that they have to choose from. We'll see how many games it actually ends up going to. First uh, three wins will be the champion of ISF. Well, there's the first hatchery. Two very different builds here. We have, uh, I, I wanna, how do I say this ID correctly, Artosis? Soy Soyhi. Soyhi. We went over this for like five minutes before the cast started, and now I still can't do it. Soyhi mm. going for... Um, a quicker pool and a later hatchery. Meanwhile, uh, Mayuki actually getting uh, the early hatch and the extractor and just now the spawning pool. So Mayuki, yeah. a little bit greedy, but, uh, you know, it, it, she might be able to get away with it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to pay off as far as the opening build orders go. Uh, Mayuki definitely did get an advantage. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't mean that Soihi is, like, super far behind or anything like that. You know, she's going to get quicker queens out, which means... Uh, she can easily kind of catch up and get to the same place. But overall, uh, Mayuki should be pretty happy with where she's at. And that spawning pool is just now finishing up for Mayuki. Meanwhile, back here um, in Soihi's base, getting that extractor up. And this should be, a, I think, a pretty static game for the early part. It yeah. looks like, just like our third, fourth place match, neither player wanting to do any all-in right away, really having faith in their mid-game and late-game. Mm. Yeah, if one player were to get aggressive quickly here, I think it would be Mayuki just because she has mined her gas a bit quicker. She got that hatchery up quickly. So could easily start a lot of unit production, whereas Soihi has to be defensive for a little bit at least. Well, here come those scouting uh, lings coming up now into the main. Let's see what they uh, do manage to spot. Uh, Soihi pretty quickly here is going to see that she actually is in a uh, bit of a drone deficit, although... She's starting to catch up now. Hmm. This, you know, these two builds, they start out very different, but you can oftentimes end up in the same spot. 
Yeah, that, that's quite true. Uh, very oftentimes the case that we'll look at it a few minutes from now, and they'll have basically the same upgrades, supply, and everything else. Well, uh, the Bailing's Nest is now started here for Mayuki. Huh. Do you think and she's going to get aggressive? I think she is. I was watching her play a little bit um, out there on the floor, and yeah. uh, she definitely uh, liked the, uh, a, a lot of these aggressive plays in ZVZ. We saw, I, we saw a lot of this, actually. Um, throughout this tournament here, um, a lot of Ling all-ins here just flooding the second mm -hmm. base and oftentimes flooding up the ramp and just killing him. Well, right now, Soyi has actually already got a spine crawler up and is finishing up a Roach Warren while making some extra Ling, so I don't think that she can really be killed right now. If, if we see a big dedicated attack from Miyuki, I feel like it'll be held off. Well, let's see how many Lings uh, start to come out here. Bane Ling's nest can always just be uh, preemptive yeah. uh, to try to stay safe. And we, we don't see uh, more uh, lings being made for the time being. Instead, we have uh, for Soyhi uh, an evolution chamber about halfway done and nearly halfway done for Mayuki, a Roach Warren. All right, so th this might be what's going on. The Baneling Nest for a little bit of defense. Oh, God, oh my Mayuki God. got in the main base and is going after this queen. And looks like Soyhi going to lose a queen. That's always painful. It uh, certainly is, Artosis. We did have one drone killed off there as well. Uh, I didn't even catch those links there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> coming to the main. No, <laughs> so he didn't either, Taste. So he so. probably surprises you and I were when they, when they got up in there. Um, so one queen does go down, so that's a little bit of, of a hiccup yeah. there for the larva injects, which can actually start to catch up to you in a ZVZ. Certainly, you do not want to be losing queens. can hurt your production significantly. And note here we have eight roaches, but uh, also simultaneously six drones being made. Yeah, she's really kind of going into a macro game. The roaches, yeah. when you only make like eight roaches and go back into drones, normally it means you just want them for some defense as opposed to an attack. Well, Soyhi is going to go for her third base while uh, she is upgrading her plus one range attack, missile attack. So uh, we'll have to see uh, if Mayuki is interested in coming out here and trying to punish this. As you can see, uh, Soyhi already sees, oh man, there are a, a lot of roaches over mm -hmm. here already, but uh, that doesn't mean that they're continuously being pumped out here. In fact, uh, both these players, uh, I don't want to say greedy, but really focused on the Econ, cranking yeah. out a lot of drones here. And because of that, even though Mayuki kind of had the better start and some better harassment, Soyi is actually going to be able to get ahead eventually because his third hatchery is on the way. And having a third base against just two bases should propel her into the lead. That is if, of course, she doesn't take any significant damage well, before that. I think Mayuki is actually gearing up for a serious attack here. We have a drone transfer from uh, Soihi here, but uh, there's a lot of links being made on the back of this. Roach is now coming down here, and as these links hatch, they can flood in here and possibly uh, or stampede over Soihi. But if Soihi survives this attack, Artosis, uh, Soihi is, is going to have such a huge lead. She'll probably win this game. Yeah, but Mayuki is actually making a lot of Zerglings right now. Uh, this could bode very well for her attack, but more roaches on the way for Soihi. Has to be careful not to get surrounded, though, with all these speedlings out in the map. Um, well, you know, I don't know if she's going to be able to get in there. Uh, Soihi already has a supply lead. She's had that third base up and running for a little while now. Uh, Mayuki has identified uh, that she might not be able to get in there and is making a third hatchery of her own. Uh, maybe she'll try to go around and attack from a different side. It's, it's tough to say. Could be a good move. Will Soyhi get in position in time to defend this? Looks like she's already moving down to that third base. Really good reaction. And uh, Soyhi very effectively just drives out uh, you know, any attack there from Mayuki. Uh, Mayuki now in a deficit doesn't mean Mayuki can't recover, but for the time being, uh, this is going to shift back into uh, Soyhi's favor as it has been for about a a minute or so, but she's going to get complete control of the map. And actually coming up here, and Mayuki not paying attention, losing a lot of lings as she then retreats probably back to her half of the map. Wow, very well done on that defense from Soihi. Her third base is faster. Her supply is really peaking now as well. And you know what? She's going to have roach speed pretty quickly here, Tasteless. And if you have more roaches in roach speed, you can really bully your opponent around. Well, the roaches are coming up now. And we have to see if Mayuki is going to be in good shape to defend this because, I mean, the supply disparity here is, is incredible. It's 150 to 111 here. Yeah. Uh, and that's a large enough difference that you might just be able to squash your opponent. That's right. Well, here we go. So he trying to go up the ramp. A good concave setup from Mayuki. 
So she does have to pull back for now. More and more roaches uh, just meeting up over here. The question is, can Sohi actually do any damage here? Does this game continue on uh, and, and normalize? Mayuki behind, but she can certainly catch up if she survives the next wave of attacks here. Well, here we go. A big attack coming in from Soihi at this third base. Way more roaches for Soihi. Mayuki, I don't think, is going to be able to hold on. And, you know, Mayuki, uh, excuse me, uh, Soihi actually has uh, the, the range attack upgrade right now. So she can do a lot more damage. There's two ways to go. She can either go in for the kill now and try to end this, and uh, but risk the game normalizing again, or try to take out the third. In this case, she's going uh, for the kill here, Artosis. The roach is tearing down. Uh, so, sorry, Soihi's the roach is tearing down Mayuki's roaches. And I don't know if Mayuki can recover. I no. think he may be going on to game number two here in this best of five in the StarCraft II Women's Finals. GG. Very well done there by Soihi, playing a, a much safer build than Mayuki. Yeah. Uh, you know, with that pool first, kind of took a, a back seat to Mayuki. I, I felt like Mayuki's build it was more greedy, like you said, and it actually made her a bit ahead in the beginning. But so he had good defense, a nice third base timing, and was able to macro up and kill her.